Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to our my controversial film week. And we're going to be looking at three quite highly controversial films for their time and films that were quite um hit a lot of sort of uh politically wrong sort of uh um sections of the cinema so we're going to start off with a classic one tonight a british film from 1971 called straw dogs um this is um starring dustin hoffman and, and an array of british stars um susan george stars in this and that and it's a very sort of like a very british film it is a british film but it's it's set in like a, a sort of almost like a yorkshire sort of countryside like village um and it's a pretty little village and um dustin hoffman it plays um this american sort of i think he's some sort of matthew mathematician or scientist and he's moved to this little village in england with his new wife susan george and she used she used to live there when she was young, she was brought up there, and they've moved back to her home sort of village, and um, it's so they everyone in the village was a very close knit sort of village, um, quite a rough, tough old place, and they all know her, but obviously he's the outsider, and so he's sort of frowned upon. It's very much like um, <clears throat> the, the two Americans that go into the pub in american werewolf in london they're they're sort of shunned and he's sort of shunned by the community and they all sort of um they're, they're helping him do up their farm they brought a f they're living on this farm i think it's her her father's old farm and they've moved there and they're helping and the locals are helping to sort of do up the barn and stuff like that but they're all sort of taking the mick out of dustin hoffman and making him feel very uncomfortable and they're all sort of leering and luring at Susan George, his his wife. Now she's she's a strange character in the film because she's almost um entices them. Um she knows that they, she knows that they're watching her and uh, and she sort of entices them by wearing like um just no 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 underwear, no bra and things like this and she sort of and she knows that she that they're watching her and stuff like this. I don't know if she's sort of showing off because she's known them all for for like years ago, but she seems to enjoy that sort of like um making them feel gorp to gorp at her. And I don't know if she's getting anything from that. But you just get that feeling she's kind of doing that. And Dustin Hoffman is a little bit sort of bla blase to it. doesn't really notice that. He notices that they're looking at her and stuff like this and that. But he's just getting on with his work. And he's trying very hard to sort of um, become sort of um, accepted by the locals. Uh, there is one local there, which is like a, I think he's sort of like a barrister or something. And he sort of befriends him. And the vicar and his wife, they sort of befriend him. Um, but there's one um sort of like older sort of family there with the older sort of father um farmer who's who's not accepting to them and the whole pub seems to be a little bit scared of him um because he seems he's he's almost like the, the hard man of the village if you like and he sort of rules the roost and i don't know if he's looking at him as a threat but he he doesn't want him about at all. He doesn't accept him. Every time he goes near him, or he goes all quiet in the pub and all this sort of thing. And he starts problems and fights and all sorts of things. And all all the all the young men in the village are very weird. They're very sort of very sexually frustrated by the scene. And it also stars um. Oh, what's his name? I can't remember his name, but um, but he plays like a. I think he's a. I don't think he's. I don't think he's. A, he's a paedophile or anything, but he's someone that's been messing around with young girls, and he's been like done for it and stuff like this. Um, not put into prison, but done by the locals. They've they said they sort their own problems out, and and he he's sort of like um. <clears throat> 
I can't remember his name for the life of me. And he's one of my favourite actors, isn't that ridiculous? Um, I'm trying to see if it says it on the cover. Uh, no, it doesn't. It really doesn't give me much information on the cover. But he 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 starred in The Omen and all these sort of great other sort of British films. And some of the Amicus films and stuff like that. And he he's um and all the locals sort of tease him and sort of give him a hard time because of his past. Um and he's to stay clear of all the sort of young girls of the town. And there's also a strange young girl there who seems to have taken the fancy to Dustin Hoffman. It's all very, very strange. It's a very, very bizarre little village. And then the film sort of turns into like a sort of um, a rape film um, with Susan George and the local villagers and stuff like this. And then it turns into like a house invasion and a sort of revenge sort of film. So it's it's a very mixed bag of sort of like a lot of films that you, when you watch this you think oh they must have taken the influence from this like American Werewolf or one with the pub sort of and the sort of isolation I spit on your grave um, and also films like um, a Mother's Day and things like this all must have got some sort of ideas from this very very early sort of exploitation revenge film. And it turns into an extremely uncomfortable, disturbing watch um, throughout the film. It is, it, is, it is not an easy film to watch. It is slow starting, but this is you get in the sort of feel of the village and, and the people in it, and you feel there's just something not right about them. You know, I mean, I'm British and stuff like that, but um, the way they're acting is, is, is just something really really odd about them they're just all very 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 creepy um and, and um dustin hoffman uh and it, I, I don't know if it's because it's filmed in 1971 but they, they sort of dustin hoffman and susan george sort of act like a real sort of sort of hippie kind of way they're sort of all laid back you know all, all this sort of lifestyle that they sort of lead it's it's kind of strange their sort of marriage because they, they seem to be in love, but then they seem to argue quite a bit and, and all this sort of thing. And like I said, um, it, it's it's a very, very strange film. Um, so that's why I'm going to tell you about the film, because you need to kind of watch it and find out. What do I think of um, Straw Dogs? I love it. It's an amazing film. It's such a cool film. Um, I've not seen this. Uh, I've had this for... Uh, I've had this for, for a good few years now, and I've only watched it sort of once, so I re-got it. I used to have it years ago on DVD, um, and I believe, I don't know if it's a part of the Video Nasty um, thing, it could well have been, but it may have surpassed that because it was out, like, so early. Um, it, it might have got past it, but it, it is that sort of film. It is like a video nasty sort of film, and it hit a lot of controversy when it came up because of its degrees of sort of violence and degrees of sort of like, uh, it, 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 you know, rape and all this sort of thing. It was not a sort of done thing at 1971 um, in a British film, and and, and it, it, it hit a lot of a uh, lot of problems with the censors, I believe. And it it was banned for not necessarily because of video nazis, but it was just banned for a long time um, in some countries and things like that. And uh, yeah, and it, it's it's it, this is a Blu-ray release, um, which we we'll get on to about that in a minute. But yeah, it hit it hit a lot of problems it, when it when it sort of came out, and it still hits problems today, like. Um, no one seems to want to touch it or pick it up or anything because I've had this for a good few years now. Um, and this was um, like on an independent sort of label it, it came out on. And this was like the 40th sort of edition of it. And, and, and you just can't sort of pick it up anywhere now. Uh, and if you do, you, you'll see it going for stupid money. But yeah, uh, the pluses of this edition, it looks really cool. It looks amazing. Really, really cool. Uh, it's a great cast, amazing cast, really well acted. Um, it's good 
Dustin Hoffman was pretty cool. Although he, he his character seems rather quite shallow, he actually plays it really, really well. Um, Susan George looks stunning as ever, um, and, and the rest of the cast are absolutely fantastic. And the and it all builds up to this sort of disturbing climatic end, um, which I'm not going to say because I'm not going to spoil it. If you get a chance to see it, I believe there was a remake of it. Don't know, never watched it if it is. But this is the original 1971 version. I'm going to score this film an amazing watch and give it a 9 out of 10. Absolutely fantastic film. Really, really love it. Any of you guys seen Straw Dogs? If you have, let me know down below what you think of it. Uh, when, when, <laughs> in the 1970s, when, in, oh, in the 80s, when I first got the saw this, I thought it was going to be like a war film. Straw Dogs, it just seemed like a war film sort of title. So you can imagine my surprise that when, in fact, it's, it's a house invasion, rape, um, revenge horror movie. Um, and it's absolutely fantastic. It was a great surprise. It's an amazing film. Really worth seeing if you've never seen it. Guys, that's the first film of this um, controversial. We've got two more to review. Um, both of them are quite um, highly disturbing sort of films. And one of them is a film that I said I would never review on this channel. But... I caved in and I've got it on my channel. We'll talk about that when we get round to it. But till then, check out some more horror channels. Check out Horror Hands, Horror Geek, Man V Film, RS Designs, Pizzoel, I'm the Ice Lord, Cat Watches Horror Movies, uh, Grumpy Andrew's Haunted House, and a massive shout out to my lad. Until the next time, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.